Hello everyone and welcome back to Chardé Crochets. For this tutorial we will be making a very beautiful pattern. It is a um, lacy pineapple stitch bikini top and this was a request by a nice lady named Jen. So thank you for this request and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Um, we are going to have multiple sizes so um, starting with uh, our largest size is going to be C slash D cup. So that's our largest size. And then we'll have our B C cup. And we'll have an A B cup. Which I didn't finish. So that's the one I'm going to show you today. And we'll also be um, talking about a micro slash double A bikini if you kind of want. Um, less coverage than the AB cup okay so that's just going to be another option so let's talk about um, the yarn first so I used I love this cotton for all three of these this one is in deep teal this I think is royal blue I didn't have the package and this one is in the color lime dot it is a medium weight for cotton yarn so we will be using uh, weight for yarn for this project. And then let's talk about our hook sizes. So all of the sizes are going to use an E hook, which is a 3.5 millimeter hook. And all of the sizes are gonna use that except for the CD cup so the cd cup will also follow the same instructions as the bc cup but for the cd cup you will use a g hook which is a four millimeter hook so go ahead and grab your um your yarn and your hook size for your desired size and let's get started all right so we're gonna start off by making the top tie so this um is going to be given in size small through 1x so a size small you can go ahead and chain out 94 chains a medium you can chain out 104 chains a large you can chain out 114 chains and a 1x chain out 124 chains all right, so once you have your chain long enough for your size, we're going to, this is gonna be the top tie, the top string that goes around the neck. So next we're going to make a ring at the end of this chain. So we'll count back four stitches, one, two, three, four, and then slip stitch into that fourth chain from the hook. So we're just gonna slip stitch like that. And then I like to turn the work a little bit just because it's easier for me to work into the ring for me. And then from there we're going to chain two just to kind of raise the yarn up a little bit. And now we're going to be working into the center of this ring. So just make sure you find your, your proper center of the ring there because um, sometimes it's a little bit tricky to know exactly where that is but from there we're going to put three double crochets into the center of the ring so yarn over insert your hook into the center pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so that's one double crochet and we'll put two more here two and three okay from there now we'll chain two and we're gonna put three more double crochets into the center of the ring so one two and three okay now from here we will chain two again and then put three double crochets into the center of the ring one, two, and three. So that's what it looks like so far. And from here, we're not gonna chain anything, we're just going to turn. 
Actually, I'm going to turn this way. So turn so that the yarn is behind your work. Okay, so from here, we're going to slip stitch over to this chain two space. So insert your hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop, and slip stitch, pull through that loop that was on your hook. So we're going to do one of those and those three double crochets. And then one more to get into that chain two space. And then from there, we're going to chain two. So from here on out, our chain twos now count as a double crochet for the rest of the project. So chain two, that's our first double crochet. And we'll put two double crochets in the same space, one and two. And then from here, we're going to chain two and put three double crochets into this same chain space. One, two, three. And then from here, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to put three double crochets into this next chain space. two and three and then from here we're going to chain two and then put three more double crochets into the same chain space one two and three so this is what your projects should look like so far um, from here we're going to turn our work And again, we are going to slip stitch over to that chain two space to start the next row. Two and three and one more for that. And now we'll chain two, which counts as a double crochet and put two double crochets in the same space. And then we'll chain two and put two more double crochets into the same space. One, or three, sorry. One, two, and three. So three in the same space. And from here, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And we'll put one single crochet into this chain four space here in the middle. Okay. And then from there, chain four, one, two, three, four. And then we'll put three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochets into the same chain space like we've been doing. So chain two and three more. One, two, and three. And this is what your project should look like so far. And from here, we're going to turn our work and slip stitch on over again to that chain two space. One, two, three, and four. And to start this row, we're going to again chain two and then do our two double crochets. One, two, chain two, and that is all fuzz. And then three more double crochets into the same chain space. Three. And then from here, we'll chain four. Four. And put one single crochet into the next chain four space, into that first chain four space. And then chain four, two, three, four. And put one single crochet into this next chain space. Like that. And then chain four. And we'll finish the row by putting three double crochets, 
chain two, three double crochets into that chain two space. Two, three, And here's what your project should look like now. And from here, we're going to turn and we're again going to slip stitch on over to that chain two space. Chain two, two double crochets in the same space. Chain two, two double crochet or three double crochets in the same space. Okay, and then from here we're going to chain four, four, and single crochet into the next chain space. Chain four. And single crochet into the next chain space. Chain four. And single crochet into this next chain space. And chain four. And finish our row with another set of three double crochets, chain two three double crochets. And that is what your project should look like now. And so from here we're going to turn and slip stitch back on over to that chain two space and then chain two which counts as our double crochet and two more double crochets in the same space chain two and two more do uh, three more double crochets in the same space I keep saying two that is three That. And from here, we're going to now chain five one, two, three, four, and five. Chain five, and we're going to skip this first uh, chain four space and then put a single crochet into the next one, like that. And from there, we are going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and put a single crochet into the next chain four space, like that. And now we're going to chain five again, one, two, three, four, five and finish our row with our last little shell which is three double crochets three chain two three double crochets And now this is what your project should look like now. All right, so from here now we're going to turn our work again and slip stitch on over to that chain two space. And we'll do our first shell, which is chain two, and then three double crochets in the same, or two, sorry, two double crochets, chain two, 
and three double crochets. Can I say that right one time during the video? <laughs> okay. All right, so after that, now we will chain four. One, two, three, four. And this is where the sizing is going to alter a little bit for the sizes. So um, for a micro slash double A kini, you can put eight double crochets into this middle chain space. So we're going to skip this chain five space and work into this one. So micro slash double A is eight double crochets here. Um, cup size A slash B is a 10 double crochets here. And cup sizes B, C, and C, D, you will do 12 double crochets here. So I am making an A, so I'm going to put 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten for me. All right. So once you do your ten or your eight, ten, or twelve double crochets in that middle space, go ahead and chain four more and finish off your row with your um, shell, which is three double crochets, chain two, three, double crochet. And this is what your work should look like now. Okay. So now we're going to turn our work and slip stitch on over to the chain two space. And then from there we'll chain two and put our two double crochets. Chain two, three double crochets. Oh my God, I said it right. <laughs> three double crochets in the same space. So from here, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna skip all of this and start working into our first, into our pineapple. We're also going to be skipping this very first double crochet and we're gonna work a double crochet into the second double crochet of that base of the pineapple. So one double crochet in that second double crochet of that pineapple. And then from there, chain one. And that's what we're doing across this pineapple until we have one stitch, one double crochet left. So we're not gonna go into the last one. We're going to put a double crochet in every stitch, but a chain one in between. So double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, and double crochet in the next stitch, and chain one, and that's pretty much all we're doing until we get to that second to last double crochet. And I think, believe that's my second to last one. Like that. So, and so the way that you know that you did this right, um, micro slash double A, you should have six double crochets in this row. 
um, size A, B, you should have eight. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those, yes. And then size B, C, and size C, D, you should have 10 double crochets here with little chain ones in between. So once you're done with that, go ahead and chain four more. And do our little shell at the end. Three double crochets. Chain two. And three double crochets. And so that's what that looks like so far. So from here, we're going to turn our work and slip stitch on back down to that um, chain two space. And then we'll chain two and do our two double crochets. One, two, chain three, or chain two, sorry and three double crochets. Okay, and then from here we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we're gonna be working into this chain one space in between the first two double crochets of the pineapple. So in that space we'll put one single crochet and then chain three. And then we'll put a single crochet into the next chain one space. And we're doing that across. So chain three and single crochet in the next space. Chain three and single crochet in the next space. So we'll do that all the way across. And then once you finish um, doing that all the way across, we will chain three more and finish with our shell. So three double crochets. Whoops. Chain two and three more double crochets. That's what your work should look like so far and from here we're going to turn and this row will be our repeating row so for a little while so we're gonna slip stitch on back to that chain two space and then we'll chain two and do our two double crochets chain two, three double crochets, our regular shell. Okay, and then from here we're going to chain three, and this is kind of like how our pineapple gets smaller, so chain three, and then we're gonna work into that first loop there, that first chain three loop of the pineapple. So we're gonna chain three and put a single crochet into that first loop. And then we'll chain three. One, two, three. And put a single crochet in the next loop. And we're just doing that across. So chain three, one, two, three and single crochet into the next loop, chain three, and single crochet into the next loop. So 
you should have one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five. So this next row of loops, you should have one less loop than you had in the previous row. So I had six and now I have five. From there, we'll chain three and then we will finish off with our regular shell. Three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets. And that is what your work should look like so far. So that last row there was our repeating row. And you can easily count what row you're on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. By starting from this base here. So this was row 10. Um, so we're going to repeat that last row. And the microkini slash double A cup, you're going to repeat that row just one more time. Um, until you have row number 11 that's finished. Um, cup size AB, you're going to repeat this row until row 13 is complete. So I believe that would be three more times. And then for um, BC and CD, you're going to repeat this row until you have row 15. So basically, every time you do a row, you should have one less um, loop than you had before and we can go ahead and do one more together so we'll turn our work and then we will do our slip stitches back on down to the chain two space and then we'll chain two and do our shell two more double crochets chain two two more or three more double crochets two and three and then from there we'll chain three one two three and we'll put a single crochet into this very first loop chain three and single crochet into the next loop chain three single crochet in the next loop, chain three, and just continue that pattern until we run out of loops. And then you'll have one less loop than you had in the last row. So I had six, now and then five, and now I have four, and then chain three, and our shell in this last chain space. So go ahead and repeat this pattern, this row, until you have um, reached that row that I told you about. You'll also know you'll be there because that row only has two loops left in that row. All right, so this is what your project should look like now. And sorry, my camera's shaking. This is what it should look like now. And so you can see that your pineapple got smaller in every row and you should have two stitches or two loops in that last row that you did. So from here, we're going to kind of, is, this row is kind of the same, very similar. So we're going to turn our work and this is actually going to be our last row of the cup. It's a really, really fast cup. So from there, we'll slip stitch on over to... Like, it's a lot faster than it looks, I guess. It's not super fast, but I could do this in maybe 20... 15 to 20, 25, if I'm focused. Um, 
So we'll slip stitch on over and then we'll chain two like normal and do our shell, our beginning shell. Okay, and then we're doing the same thing. We'll chain three, one, two, three. And then we will um, single crochet in that very next loop, that first loop, chain three, and single crochet in that next loop. And so this is the last row of the pineapple. We only have one loop here. Okay, and then from there we'll chain three, and then we'll start on our shell, but we're not gonna finish. We're gonna do our first three double crochets. Two, uh, three. So we did our first three double crochets, and then we'll chain one. So after you chain one, you wanna remove your hook from the chain. Actually, keep your hook on the chain and put your hook into um, the chain two space from the first shell of the row. So we're gonna put our hook into that shell space, if that makes sense. And once you have it in there, we're going to chain one. So this chain one is going to come through that chain two space and through the chain space that was on your hook so it's not that difficult and then so that's our second chain of this show so now we're just going to finish off by putting three double crochets into that same space like we were just doing our show and I really hope that makes sense but that's what closes it we just um, Kind of connected the two sides together so now it's closed and from here we can chain one and cut and tie off okay and then i'm just going to take a moment to weave in my tail all right so once you weave in your tail you can go ahead and rewind the video and make the same cup the same way always try to pay attention to your tension so that your cups are the same size but now we are going to go ahead and make the bottom chain that goes under the bust area so it doesn't matter which hook um, these instructions will work for a G hook and they will also work for the E hook okay so we'll make our slip knot and then again the ties are based on small through 1x so size small, you can chain out 200 chains. Medium, you can chain out 225. A large can chain out 250. And a 1X can chain out 275 chains. All right, so after you make your chain long enough for your size, you can just go ahead and cut and tie off. And um, you can weave this through however you would like. I actually um, counted from the middle shell, I counted at four shells, one, two, three, four. And I just used um, these holes, the shell holes, to weave mine in and out. So I just weaved it through four. But of course, you can actually weave this in however you would like. Um, get creative if you like. I weave mine through both of those middle ones. And four on the other side. So one, two, three, and four. So I kind of weave mine in like that. Try to get it to the middle. And then I did the other one the same way. So one, two, three, four. 
and just quickly weave that through. Just try to make sure that my things are kind of in the middle. My cups are kind of in the middle. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you can weave those in however you like, but that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's such a very beautiful um, cup, but it's it looks like it's way more work than it is. So I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment if you like this video. And other than that, I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.